In this video, we will be talking about LCM in itself, and we will be will be finding about what is the relation between LCM and HF. Let us find the LCM and HF of two numbers, and that is eighteen and twelve. So first of all, we will be finding the LCM, and that will be like this. We'll take two and divide the two number eighteen and twelve. And the answer will be nine and six, and then we'll try to divide with the uh, three which will give me three and two and at the end to find out the lcm all we need to do is to multiply two three three and two that will give me 36 so the lcm of the two numbers 18 and 12 is 36 then we'll do the prime factorization of 18 and from prime factorization of 12 the highest common factor to find out the highest common factor so let us find out the prime factorization of 18 so it is written 2 into 3 into 3 18 we can write 2 into 9 so 2 we cannot divide further so 9 we can divide so we will be breaking the 9 if we break 9 it will be 3 into 3 so ultimately 2 into 9 which can be replaced by 2 into 3 into 3 so that is how i have written and you can see all the numbers 2 3 and 3 all the numbers are prime number similarly we'll be writing the prime factorization of 12 2 into 6 and 6 i can again further divide into uh, as uh, 2 into 3 so the last result will be 2 into 2 into 3 highest common factor for uh, high, finding out the highest common factor between these two number we have to find find out the common between these two factorizations and 2 into 3 is the common one so we will be writing 2 into 3 and this is uh, it will give me 6 so 6 is the answer now we have two numbers that is 18 and 12 their LCM is 36 and HCM is 6 multiply the two numbers if we multiply 18 and 12 we will get 216 and if we multiply the HCF and LCM, then we will get 216. So multiplying the two numbers and multiplying the HCF and LCM of those two numbers are same. So we can conclude from here that multiplication of the two numbers and the multiplication of the HCF and LCM are same. Multiplication of the two numbers and multiplication of HCF and LCM. Okay, so same means equal sign. So we replace same with equal sign. And in the third line, we are writing, we are replacing multiplication symbol also. We are writing HCF into LCM, which is equal to first number into second number. So if three of them in the equation, three of them given to us and or we know then we can find out the fourth one like if we know hcf lcm and first number then we can find out the second number similarly if we know first number second number and lcm then we can find out the hcf so if anyone is missing and other three we know then we can find out the fourth one let us understand this concept with the help of an example if the lcm and hcf of two numbers are 24 and 4 respectively and one number is 12 find out the other number in the above example hcf is 4 lcm is 24 and one of the number is 12 so we have to find out the other number so let us use the equation here hcf into lcm is equal to first number into second number so in place of hcf let us put 4 in place of lcm 24 L let let us replace the first number with 12 and now we have to find out the second number we do not know the second number now this 4 and 24 which is there in the left side of the equal sign if we multiply it will give us the value 96 
equal sign means both left and right are same so in the left side if we are getting 96 the right side of equal sign must give us 96 so if we multiply 12 and second number then we must get 96 so what is the second number okay so we need to find out the second number now let us take this 12 and 96 and use it to find out the missing number so to find out the missing number we need to divide 96 by 12 and we'll find 8 so the missing number is 8 so that is how we'll be finding the other number here we we'll can find out the other uh, things also like LCM if LCM is missing or HCF is missing another three are giving given so you can find out those answers uh, you can go back and start the video from the starting you can uh, start again and uh, from the beginning you uh, pause the video in between if you want to understand the video in a proper way and, and uh, after that you please keep practicing maths uh, in the next video we'll be explaining more theories more maths definitely so keep watching the channel you will be finding more information about maths i hope it is easiest way for you to understand it thank you very much if you uh, like the video then please keep watching uh, other videos too